A good intranet needs to integrate internal communications, social collaboration and custom applications to become a fully operational digital workplace. XCC already offers many ways for integrating custom applications. There is the Atom RSS Feeds widget, the Clipping widget, the HTML widget, the JavaScript Event Handler bus, the Tools menu, and of course you can develop your custom widgets using the XCC API. In this video I will show you how to integrate the Forms Experience Builder into your IBM Connections and XCC-based intranet. The Forms Experience Builder, or short fab to its friends, is a great platform for creating and running applications. FAB features a graphical user interface to create and lay out forms. Fields can easily be added by drag and drop and you can edit properties with a single click. Creating a form is a matter of minutes. Beyond the Forms Designer user interface, FAB provides means for notifications, approval workflows, access management, views and reports, responsive layout, and advanced programming using REST, SOAP, or WDSL services. While the interface to create, layout, and manage forms is great, the interface to view available forms and data only comes with a basic user interface. Integration is, as always, key to usability. We created two widgets to make the integration of web based applications as easy as possible the Fab Forms widget and the Fab Data widget. As you have probably guessed, the Fab Forms widget is used to integrate forms. This can be done relatively easy. Even an iframe can accommodate a form. Simply locate and open a form and copy the URL to an iframe widget. But we made it better and even easier. Let's assume you want to add a form for deficit and nuisance report to an XCC intranet page. In order to do so, you only need to create a new Fab Forms widget and name it. Add the widget to the page and select a form. All forms you have access to will be displayed. We select Deficit and Nuisance Report. Because we want to encourage users to provide feedback, we choose Anonymous. Now the users cannot be traced back, which is very helpful, for example, for whistleblower forms. Now let's say the HR department wants to add a form for open positions on their intranet landing page. Create a new Fab Forms widget and name it. Then add the widget to the HR landing page and pick the corresponding form. Instead of anonymous, you should now of course choose authenticated. Authenticated forms can save you a lot of time. Information on users, such as name, phone number, mail address, business unit, department, location, office, name of the superior, and any other fields can be automatically retrieved from the user's profile. Now anyone who comes to the HR landing page can post an open position that will automatically be routed to the HR management for approval. Now let's assume that HR wants to publish all open positions. Simply create a new Fab Data widget and then add it to the HR Intranet landing page. Here you have to choose from which form the data should originate. Our widget reads all fields from that form. You can simply select the fields to be displayed in the header and the fields to be displayed in the description of the record. All data can be formatted with applying a custom CSS. In our next release, you will even be able to use the integrated CSS editor. After saving the widget, anyone can now access all open positions that have been approved by the HR department. Positions are displayed with a header and when you click on them, a description. But let's take this one step further. We don't only want our users to be able to see the open positions. We want them to be able to take action directly. Just like in Domino, you can optionally determine a response form. Simply name the button and select the appropriate form. Now, employees can, if they are interested, directly apply to an open position. 
Of course, all relevant data will be passed on from the open position to the job application. Alternatively, you might want to display your data in a grid style instead of a list style. Automatically, the items will be displayed with their pictures. Here, the record details are displayed in an overlay. The development of a marketplace application like this is work for an apprentice or a skilled user from line of business. But there is one more thing. We checked the Allow Edit in the Fab widget. Now, clicking on the pencil allows us to directly edit any record with its corresponding form. To edit or delete the record, we need, of course, to have the access rights, which can be set dynamically in Fab. The opportunities that arise from this feature are gigantic. With this, we can now create and maintain lots of lists with all kinds of things in our intranet. Of course, you can build much more complex applications with FAB. We will continuously extend the capabilities of our FAB widgets and make sure to meet and exceed your requirements. If you want to know more about FAB, head over to the YouTube channel of FAB Product Manager Marty Lagleider. Thank you for watching this video on XCC, the web content and custom apps extension for IBM Connections. For more information on XCC, be sure to visit connectionsapps.com slash xcc.